पहले हमारा प्लान था कि 22 सितंबर इवनिंग तक उसको रीएक्टिवेट करें सो so, 23 सितंबर को फिर से लैंडर और रोवर को स्लिप मोड से बाहर निकाल के रीएक्टिवेट करने का प्लान है आई एम होपिंग अगेंस्ट होप दैट इट विल राइज एंड इफ इट राइजेस इट विल बी ए मिराकल इफ इट रिजाइव रिवाइव्स इसरो विल बी गोइंग बियॉन्ड देयर कमिटमेंट्स कल शाम से यहाँ के शाम से वहाँ कल सूर्योदय हो चुका है चंद्र पे और पहले हमारा प्लान था कि 22 सितंबर इवनिंग तक उसको रीएक्टिवेट करें रोवर और लैंडर दोनों को बट अभी कुछ कारणवश अभी हम कल करेंगे 23 सितंबर को सो so, 23 सितंबर को फिर से लैंडर और रोवर को स्लिप मोड से बाहर निकाल के रीएक्टिवेट करने का प्लान है we all hope that to our best that the isro engineers should have taken the maximum effort and i am sure they would have taken the maximum effort to how to preserve heat inside the chandrayaan lander and do the outside temperature may be of the in the lunar night may be of the order of minus 130 degree centigrade but if they could have maintained the temperature at least minus 30 degree centigrade probably the all the electronics would survive and today once the sun has already risen but it has to reach to elevation angle of 6 to 9 degree to get enough strength so that the solar panel gets energized and the batteries are charged and the thermal balance is maintained it will even then it if everything goes well it will still take a few more hours and once that is there then probably isro will attempt to communicate with it i am sure if isro is successful they will be communicating to the general public at large and i am hoping against hope that it will rise and if it rises it will be a miracle do scientists don't believe in miracle but yet you know it's a, we make all the engineering efforts but uh, sometimes we fail and most of the time we succeed i hope with this time also isro people would have succeeded and then it would have been if it revives it was not in original plan of isro but if it revive revives isro will be going beyond their commitments and it will be a great thing and great day for scientists because we can have a more and more measurements today but we keep the fingers crossed let us wait for isro's tweet and information whether they have succeeded to in waking it up 